Today's the first day of the Vasa, the rains retreat. We don't have much rain here in Southern California, although we do tend to have a smattering of rain at the beginning of the rains. It's the time for the monks to settle in. Of course, we've been settled in now for several months. But to continue settling in, time to accelerate your practice, time to accelerate your studies. Look for good ways to add more goodness to your life through the good things you do. And it's traditional that at the beginning of the rains, we have a forgiveness ceremony. It is just a ceremony, but it's good to think about why we have this ceremony. If you're going to be living together, there are bound to be times when you offend somebody else. As I say in Thai, the tongue is right close to the teeth and it's the part of the body that gets bitten the most. So we live close together. You might want to stop and think in ways you've offended other people in the course of the year. Now, the ceremony doesn't require that you make up your mind that you're not going to do that again, but that's part of the practice. You realize you've wronged somebody, you make up your mind, okay, I'm not going to repeat that. That's how you grow in the practice. We want to show respect for one another. So simple things. Look at the simple things that you do that can also be offensive to others. Make up your mind, I'm not going to repeat that. The monks have an offense. You should show disrespect for someone who's giving you advice, even if you don't agree with the advice. You show disrespect, that's an offense. They tell you to do X and you just do Y right in front of them. Okay, that's, that's just disrespect. So if we learn how to respect one another, it's going to be a lot easier to live with one another for the remainder of the rains, or however much longer, even beyond the rains, the quarantine is going to last. So today, before the ceremony, reflect on ways in which you've been offensive, that you know about, and be alive to the fact that there may be ways you're not alert to. But if you show the attitude that you want to learn, then other people will be happy to tell you. It's when you show that you don't want to learn that they just stop talking, stop sharing, and you've lost an opportunity. As the Buddha said, when someone points out your faults, regard that person as someone who's pointed out treasure, an opportunity to improve yourself. And if each of us acts on this principle of trying to improve ourselves, then our meditation will go better, our practice will go better, our life together as a group will go better. It all depends on your attitude that it really is important to do what's good. And the more goodness you can do, the better. The greater your happiness will be. Because in the Buddha's understanding, it's we search for happiness and we search for goodness. And it's the same search when you do them together. You see that the things you do that are generous, kind, Developing equanimity, developing patience, developing your desire to learn. That's how you grow. That's how you grow in happiness. So always keep that attitude in mind.